What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Okay, so about uh, eight months ago, I made a video um, saying that the council, Derbyshire Council, was going to propose parking restrictions around the Mam Tor, Top and Bottom Road, and other areas up in the Peak District. And another YouTuber turned around and said that I was dramatising things and it was never going to happen. Um, people asked me, I, oh, in that video I said that I would update uh, people when I had more information. And uh, a few people came back to me and said, why haven't I updated? And maybe the other YouTuber was right. Well, I didn't update because there was nothing to update with. Uh, the council was slow doing anything uh, but I can tell you now that they have made proposals which is exactly what I said that the top and bottom road the bus stop the turning circle um, are all proposed to be no stopping at any time um, so uh, yeah there's your update um, and what what the council have actually done is it's the 29th of January today um, the council have given us until the 10th of February um, which is what 10 days almost uh, less than 10 days um, to to write our objections um, it must be in writing um, either by email I'll give you the details to where to send that and uh, yeah, um, I'd like to ask you to take the time and uh, write your objections. Um, it seems like everywhere you go now, um, the councils are bringing in restrictions. We are being suppressed. You can't protest about anything anymore. Um, you can't even have your say. Um, it's unbelievable. There's. Uh, ULES charges coming in throughout all the cities um, even this area here that I'm in now um, this woodland right this woodland here was given to the people this is a part of Epping Forest by the way this area here was given to the people by Queen Elizabeth um, and she said it, I'll give it to the people and she said it will be for their free use and enjoyment well even the councils have now put in parking restrictions around the outside of the forest so although you can come here and enjoy it you can't park your car anywhere without paying um, so yeah as I say it seems like everybody's um, rights us are currently being undermined so we need to um, get onto our MPs or the relevant people and have our say so even if you don't wild camp um, and you mainly stay on campsites um, it's still going to affect you even though you might think it won't um, it definitely will because if everybody can't park wild camp anymore the campsites will become more full um, and then they're going to charge more so that alone should be an incentive for you to write and complain and give people the option to either go to a campsite or to wild park in the eels um, you've already seen with um, Dartmoor Dartmoor used to be one of the only places in uh, in the UK where you could wild camp and it was open and free access to the public um, that right has now been removed uh, I'm, I'm so glad that I'm at the age I'm at now because it just seems that kids my, my kids your kids um, are not going to grow up in a country with the freedom that we had as kids uh, even as um, an adult I can feel my rights and my freedom 
slowly being taken away and uh, I'm really disliking it. So what is this going to mean for the people that live in their vans around the Peak District? Um, well I guess all I can say is that for the people that complained um, you're going to find them living on your doorstep now, they're going to have to move into the streets and uh, in the areas where you live because that's where there ain't going to be any restrictions so I hope you're um, pleased with the results that you've got from your complaints uh, your objections will only count if you provide a an address um, a place of residence which again is another dig at people living in vans um, because obviously if you're living in a van they know damn well you haven't got a place of residence why would you be living in a van if you had a place of residence um, with um, the way times are going uh, more and more even the people with houses Even the people with houses are commenting that the energy energy costs are far too high um, and they're struggling. Well, how do you think that somebody in a van is now going to be able to move into an house and uh, pay these costs when the people that own houses can't even afford to do it themselves? Um, some of you people that do currently have houses maybe you'll end up living in a van and uh, see what the struggles are yourself Yeah, I'd like to, um, I'm not going to take credit for this. Um, credit goes to James Van Life. Um, he's the one that uh, brought it to my attention. So uh, credit to you, mate. Um, and to May Beth as well for um, the work that you've done to try and bring it to people's attention and make it easier for them to object or to get their objections in. The council hasn't made it easy, giving us only 10 days or so to do that.